Hey guys, in this video, I have the AMZ 3D PETG 1.75 millimeter filament. I picked this up from Amazon recently and wanted to share my experiences with it. PET is a polyethylene and PETG is just another form of it, similar to PETE, which is commonly used in water bottles. To be honest, I don't really use PLA very much. I printed with ABS almost 100% of the time since I got into 3D printing about five years ago. Most of the things I print are functional parts and I needed a filament that was more durable and ABS was always the choice. But after using PETG filament from AMZ 3D, I think I'm sold. It's very durable like ABS. It's a bit softer but not too much. You can feel a bit more flex in it compared to ABS which seems to be harder. And one of the great things I notice about PETG is the layer adhesion. It bonds really well between layers. It also doesn't seem to shrink like ABS. I printed this filament on my Creality Ender 2 with pretty much the same profile as my ABS filaments. So the extruder temperature is about 235 degrees Celsius. I also lowered the bed temperature to about 70 degrees Celsius. Like I said earlier, one of the things I noticed with PETG is since the layered bonding is so much stronger, it's more difficult to remove the supports as well as rafts. PETG also sticks on the bed really well. Even after cooling, the part just wants to stick on the bed until you pry it off. For the best uh, bed adhesion, I heat my um, heated bed to about 70 degrees Celsius and I use glue stick on my glass bed. So here are some of the things I've printed with PETG. These are mini Nintendo Switch game cases. PETG is perfect for this type of application since it has a bit, of, bit more flex in it and I was able to open and close these cases without fatiguing the plastic. This is a one piece print of a bearing gear. The Ender 2 is really accurate in printing this. I printed this in both ABS and PETG. With the ABS version, once I removed the raft, all the gears were spinning freely. With the PETG version, since it's a bit on the softer side, I had to give it a little bit of assistance with a drill and to loosen up the parts. But other than that, it was fine. A lot of 3D printer parts are actually made with PETG as well. So it's a very durable material that is rigid with uh, greater layer bonds. I have a couple more rolls of ABS and then I'll probably switch completely to PETG as my preferred filament. The only thing about PETG is the lack of color choices, but I prefer to print in black or red anyway, so uh, having the handful of colors is fine. And if I do need to use different colors, I'll probably just go back to ABS. But other than that, I think I'll stick with PETG for my main filament. Anyways, that's it for this video. PETG is a really good filament for using for uh, printing uh, functional parts, and I hope you get a chance to use it. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.